بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله continue on in our study of أصول الثلاثة the three fundamentals we left off at the beginning of the treaties and we're mentioning what Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab rahimahullah ta'ala what he said he said i'lam rahimakullah annahu yajibu alayna ta'allam arba masail al-ula al-ilm wa huwa ma'rifat Allah wa ma'rifat an-nabi wa ma'rifat din al-islam bi adilla he said that there are you have to know these four things and he said firstly it is Allah the exalted it is knowing Allah and the knowing of his prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the knowing of islam with its textual evidences with the evidences from the text and what are the where do the evidences in islam come from they come from what al kitab the quran was sunnah of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam that's the asl there the foundation and the ijma or what the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in what they had consensus on so we should know Islam and we should know our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala from these textual proofs. And we already went into depth a little bit about Tawheed because that is knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His Lordship, which is Tawheed or Rububiyyah. And knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by His divine names and attributes, which is Tawheed al-Asma'i wa Sifat. And, and knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by Tawheed al-ibadah or Tawheed al-uluhiyah meaning that this is the servant meaning you and I how we worship Allah that everything which Allah is pleased with and that he loves is worship that's ibadah that's what ibadah is so that's the Tawheed al-ibadah that all of our worship goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we supplicate it goes to Allah when we pray it goes to Allah when we make tawaf around the Kaaba it goes it's to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's for Allah azza wa jal it's a part of our ibadah for Allah and a beautiful statement a great imam his name was Sheikh Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah Sheikh al-Islam Rahmatullah alayhi he said al ibadatu kullu ma yuhibbuhu Allah wa yardahu min af'al wa aqwal al-zahir wa al-batin he said that ibadah so this lets us know that Islam when we talk about worship what is worship Worship, as Shaykh al-Islam said, it is everything that Allah loves and is pleased with from statements and actions. And of course, issues of the heart. And this is from that which is apparent and that which is inward. And we'll talk more in depth about the various types of ibadah. We know zakat is ibadah. We know hajj is ibadah. We know salat is ibadah. We know dua, supplication is ibadah. And all of those things we'll talk about. And then there's inward ibadah. There's ibadah like tawakkul, that you rely and trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's tawassal, that you... Uh, you seek to come nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through righteous deeds. All of these are inward and some outward uh, acts of worship of Allah Azza wa Jal. So the Shaykh, he said, and secondly, is to act upon that knowledge. So when we gain knowledge, when we gain knowledge about Islam, we have to practice that knowledge. We have to practice the knowledge. So when you read the Quran and you memorize the Quran, and when you learn something about the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, you have to practice it. Now that knowledge will bear witness against you. If you don't practice that knowledge, then you haven't gained the benefit of that knowledge. Because the the great classical imams, the early imams, they said, uh, Al ilm. Uh, uh, they said al amal thamarat al ilm that actions or our uh, deeds righteous deeds are the fruits of knowledge so when we gain that knowledge about allah and we gain that knowledge about the religion of islam and we gain that knowledge about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we have to practice that knowledge thirdly thirdly is what what's the third thing we have to call to that knowledge. That's da'wah ilallah. The third thing is that we call to that knowledge. Are you reading? 
Are you looking in your book? Are you looking into space? The third thing is that we call to that knowledge. A thirdly, to call the people to Allah. So that means our dawah, the dawah that we make is to Allah. We don't make dawah to our group. We don't make dawah to our people. We don't make dawah uh, to anything, but it's to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who is the only one worthy of worship. That is dawah. The fourth thing is to be patient when you are making that dawah and that is all of those principles they come from Surah Al-Asr and that's why the Shaykh he said this is demonstrated by what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said he's saying wal asr inna linsana lafi khusr illa alladheena amanu wa amilu salihati wa tawasu bil haqqi wa tawasu bis sabr Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says verily by the time indeed mankind is in a lost is in a loss except for those who have believed and done righteous deeds and advise one another to the truth and advise one another to patience so a habitifillah this shows us all of those four principles are there the first thing is the knowledge because in order to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you have to have knowledge and the second thing is to act upon that knowledge. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمَلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ And they do righteous deeds. So that's the acting upon the knowledge. وَتَوَصُّ bilhaq, And that is calling to the truth. That's that da'wah. The calling to the truth. Calling to al-haq, which is Allah azza wa jal. وَتَوَصُّ bisabr, And exhorting one another to be patient. And being patient upon the harm that comes with giving da'wah. So all of those things are very important. And that's why the Sheikh he used that ayat, the the uh, that verse in the Quran, to illustrate those four principles because they're all contained in there. Wal asr, by the time, inna lafi khusr. Verily, a mankind is in a loss. All of mankind. That means all of mankind is in a loss. And then Allah says, "Illa ladina amanu." Accept those who have faith. In order to have, to have in order to have faith, you have to have marfa. You have to have knowledge. You have to have ilm. Illa ladina amanu. So, in order to believe in Allah, you have to know Allah. So that's why He said, "Marfa to Allah." What wa amalu salihat in doing righteous deeds. That's the practice of that knowledge. So it's gaining that knowledge and practicing it. What to wasl bil haq, and then that's inviting to the truth, inviting people to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what to wasl bil sabr, and being patient upon the harms and giving da'wah. Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah ta'ala said about Surah Al Asr, he said, Lo ma anzalallahu hujjatin illa hadhi surah la kafatuhum. Imam Shafi'i, he said, rahimahullah ta'ala, or it was reported that he said about Surah Al Asr. About Surah Al Asr, <coughs> that he said that if Allah had not revealed, had Allah revealed nothing but this Surah, that would be sufficient for the creation. So, a habitifillah that shows us the importance of this Surah, Surah Al Asr, and that all of those things, those four principles that we are studying, that Imam Muhammad Taala is mentioning, they're all contained in Surah Al Asr. And that shows us also how the ulama, with their fiqh and their understanding of the religion, how they understand the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that their dawah comes from it. As our great shaykh, Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al Wadi, he said, he said, Dawah to Ahlul Sunnah, Dawah to Illa Kitabillah, Min Kitabillah, Wa Illa Sunnati Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Illa Sunnati Rasulillahi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al Wadi, Allah Yarhamuhu, he said that our Dawah, he said the Dawah of Ahlul Sunnah, because the call that the Muslim makes is the Dawah of Ahlul Sunnah. And he said that our call is from the Book of Allah to the Book of Allah, meaning the Quran. And from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam. So a habitifillah that shows us what? That shows us that our dawah is to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. That we don't call to ourselves, we don't call to our friends, we don't call to our group, our sect, but we call to Allah. Dawah is is to Allah. 
da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah is the da'wah to Allah. That is our call. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.